How do you feel about the finale? That was a controversial thing. There's some shows that people will never be satisfied, like Sopranos people, you know, because you invest right. so much time into a show and then people are just like, oh my God, they have a certain way. How did you feel about the, the show, uh, you know, how Lost wrapped up? Were you personally satisfied or as, as, as a fan and as an actor? Well, I There you are, Orhan. For a second, I was waiting for it to pop up. How's it going? It's going well. How about yourself? Doing well. Yeah. Where are you at? Uh, Woodland Hills, uh, LA, LA area. Oh, okay. LA area. Very nice. <laughs> I was just talking to Arnold an hour ago. Uh, you know, <laughs> he's also in Santa Monica out there. I'm like, I'm in Chicago and like the pounding snow. So I'm like, I envy you guys. Yeah. I bet. <laughs> well, how's life, by the way? How how are things uh, off in the new year for you? Things are good. Things are going all right. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah everything is kind of everything is kind of cooking right now. There you go. Busy, busy working. That's always a good thing if that's the case. Yeah, I have work uh, about to begin on a a new series, and uh -huh. uh, I'm working on a play right now. It's, it's oh wow, there's a lot going on. You're acting in a play, yeah? Yeah. Out in L.A.? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, wow. That's interesting. That's cool that you're still doing plays. I like that, you know? Like, going to the, the roots of the, you know, the profession. Yeah, I mean, I've never actually done something like this before. Uh, ah. So it's uh, it's definitely uh, also kind of cool seeing uh, that you can do it in a way. You know, yeah, you're still challenging yourself, you know, trying to do different things, stepping out of the comfort zones, too. So yeah. that's always a good thing. Well, that'll be fun. How did you, uh, <laughs> so I, I know you're already, I don't know if you have a good bar experience, but I guess in this movie, it makes it seem like you can, you can run a bar too, right? <laughs> Was that a first for you, too, or you had some experience prior, maybe? Uh, working in a bar, uh, actually, early on. Uh, before I was even old enough to drink, uh -huh. uh, I got a job as a bouncer at, for the bar that was part of a Chinese restaurant. Uh -huh. And uh, it was just basically me and some friends from the wrestling team, uh, basically, you know, people we knew from before, you know, basically got us the job and we just like, they was like, yeah, we just, you just kind of like, like, just say that you've done it before and you'll go. <laughs> and be scared. That's Wait. how it goes. So, okay. and, I, and I would be there and just be scared, you know, like, uh, like checking IDs was easy, but like, I was just kind of scared that I hope nothing ever goes down in the bar that I actually have to deal with. And, uh, uh -huh. another buddy of mine who was also, a, you know, I, I knew from high school, we, we, we would sometimes scare each other out and act like we had to go deal with something like, Oh no, here it comes. <laughs> but luckily there was uh those few times i did it there was never any incident so uh mild mannered i place. got away <laughs> with it <laughs> you had a mild mannered place so that's a that's a good yeah good thing. yeah it was pretty mellow <laughs> there you go how did this uh film come about to you <laughs> uh they sent me the script basically mm -hmm. uh they asked if i i do this part and uh, it was a small part but yeah uh, i read the script and I thought the script was quite good. And then I I, I, I Googled the director and, and it was like, oh, there was um, online, there was kind of like a teaser for the movie he did before, which was, uh, and he had like, you know, he had like a, a downed helicopter. He had, a, he had all these different stuff. And I was going, well, this guy is pretty good at putting production value on hmm. small budgets. And I thought, sure, I'll come. I'll come be a part of that. Interesting. Yeah, that's what that um, it makes me wonder always sometimes, you know, you've had a pretty distinguished career. You've done a lot of work. Like, what do you kind of look for in scripts or, or just like, it's, it's an interesting. This is crooked and it's. And it's uh, Halloween. Is it Halloween? driving me a little crazy. What? <laughs> uh, my... Oh, yeah. Well, my my office is basically decorated in um, every day is Halloween. Oh, damn. That's cool. So. And it's my Christmas, because of laziness, I'm not taking down a tree yet. So yeah, yeah. Actually, forgive my ignorance. Who is that, Standy? Yes, funny. yes, I get that all the time. That's Mandy Rose. She's a wrestler for WWE. Uh, okay. So right yeah, on. she signed it, and you know, <laughs> made good use of it. You know, 
make, make yeah, it look more vibrant, I guess. Yeah, it looks like someone from like a Conan the Barbarian movie or something. Oh, it could work. Yeah, there's multiple interpretations I've gotten. So I always enjoy a, a reaction <laughs> to that. You know, um, so yeah, I was gonna I was asking you about the, you know, what sort of things kind of draw you to roles uh these days. So it's cool that, you know, like the interesting process you just elaborated here, how you know you looked up the director and kind of like the yeah, production. I mean, how do you kind of go about it? Good, mm -hmm. If the script is good, that's definitely um the biggest hurdle, you know, that mm -hmm. I was like, oh well, this is this material excites me, this material scares me, this material or for whatever reason, there's something about this. I go, all right. Uh, I think I could get into, you know, basically delving into this this type of material. And uh, yeah, that was the case in this one. I mean, there's other times where um, just the project is so exciting. I don't like I'm like, uh, 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 I don't really care what the script is because I want to be a part of it. Like uh -huh. uh, when Rob Zombie called me to be in the monsters, I was like, uh, yeah, no problem. Yeah, sure. Yeah, yeah. Send me the script. I'd be very interested in reading it. But uh, I'm kind of already in. Uh huh. And it's like and you got the humility too. It seems like you take any role, even smaller roles or bigger roles, right? Sort of thing. If you want to work on something, uh, there's no yeah. stopping, right? I mean, uh, yeah, I feel I'm more interested in the overall story. Like, I, it doesn't always have to be what my bit in it mm -hmm. is. If I like the story as a whole, it's more like, yeah, I'm happy to help tell this story um and uh and also in this scenario it was also interesting because like listen accents is not something i get asked to do very often yeah and it's not my most confident um aspect of like things that you have to do sometimes as an actor but because of the accent where it was i i knew i could call my cousin and i had my cousin say my lines into a recording for me so i could kind of like listen to the way he talks when he speaks in English and stuff. And it was kind of like, I was like, all right, that's good. Gave me, gave me more confidence on set to just kind of go for it. Cause a lot of that, a lot of, a lot of about selling an accent is just the confidence with which you use it. Yeah, no, no doubt. I think it's most things in life. You know, if you can, uh, if you believe it and you, you act it out, you know, basically like if you own it that way, people will believe, right. it, you know, sure, kind of sure, a fake sure. it till you make it sort of approach. You know, if, yeah. you, if you believe it in yourself, people will believe it. But also when you don't believe in it, it, it seeps through right away and people can notice. So sure. yeah. very true with, with a lot of aspects. You know, I wanted to ask you about <laughs> you. You're part of two kind of long term shows. I mean, obviously Lost was a. Uh, I mean, it's crazy because like that was a phenomenon before the TV sort of breakthrough now with all the television now that it is, you know, with streaming and all these shows being, you know, so highly sought after, you know, you guys were kind of like the original show that really, really garnered attention before the, the binge hype started, you know? Yeah, I, I guess. I mean, there was definitely, I feel when Lost was new, that type of serialized TV show was avoided. Uh, most networks didn't want something like that. They wanted shows that people can come in at any point mm -hmm. in a season, sit and watch an episode, and the episode wraps itself up at the end, and that's all we need to worry about. There's very few that kind of had through lines that, you know, kept people invested in it, and... Uh, because, it, I mean, I, I get it. There definitely comes to a point where sometimes it's like, all right, now it's too much to catch up with what's currently airing. Although now with streaming, you know, I keep running into people who've recently discovered the show. Interesting. Or are now starting in on the show. Well, that's and kind of exciting too, I guess. You know, you, you get that almost like I'm jealous of someone who gets to start it for the first time and get to experience it, you know? That's kind of a Definitely. cool thing too that that you get. Yeah, that. it's interesting. Yeah, just kind of like going, "Oh, how far are you?" Oh, okay. And you kind of like, and you try and remember, like, because that was also Lost was one of like the first shows where you felt you got immediate fan reaction uh -huh. and responses episode to episode, uh, just because it was it came right at that uh, you know when when social media was just really kind of starting to, you know take off and the people were really starting to just kind of you know you know find each other online and, and with with podcasts about the show and 
all kinds of like forums and sites about the show. Yeah. How do you feel about the finale? That was a controversial thing. There's some shows that people will never be satisfied, like Sopranos people, you know, because you invest right. so much time into a show and then people are just like, oh, my God, they have a certain way. How did you feel about the, the show? Uh, you know, how Lost wrapped up? Were you personally satisfied or as as, as a fan and as an actor? Well, I guess? well, yeah, of course I was satisfied. I mean, I I, I ended up with the island. And uh, I mean that's pretty great. Yeah, know, I guess but, so um, for you especially. At the like, end, I, 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 yeah, I get the crown. Um, so I, I was happy with it. I feel like the 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 diehard fans uh, were. I, I think the like the most people who were upset about the ending were kind of more cursory fans in a way. They kind of mm -hmm. like wandered in and out kind of fans. The ones that were with us from the beginning they most of them that i've run into were pretty satisfied with the ending although it did create a lot of controversy i know i i, I remember that's not it. a bad thing you know i think the bait's always good because if you, you can't satisfy everyone first of all if you do then something's not right there right and everyone's happy because you have so many polarized right. different opinions too you know you you kind of like a little bit of a debate i feel like yeah, and it really kind of emphasized that this show was important to people. Yeah. And like, it showed that they were passionate about it. And so, you know, it's cool that people cared about it that much. Mm -hmm. No question. And you know, be part of that legacy, too. And, and it's interesting to see where a lot of you guys from the show, where you venture off in your careers, too. You know, it's everyone's doing some interesting stuff, too. So there's a, there's a post-Lost World, too, that's interesting if you kind of track you know, your favorite actors from the show too. Oh yeah, totally, totally. I love that. Uh, I'm curious about you. I've, I've been a long time fan. What do you like to do for fun? What are some of your hobbies and interests? Because I know you from the screen for so much, but what are some things you like to do in your le everyday life? Uh, well, I, well, first of all, I, I'm newly a dad. Uh, I have a daughter. How is that I'm going? Kids. That's always an interesting thing. It's fun. Do you have kids? I don't, but I have friends that do, and I I see it all, so I'm kind of mentally prepping. It's quite fantastic. Uh, uh, she's a little over a year now, mm -hmm. and so and it's just kind of there's endless sources of of entertainment and, and stuff. Just seeing her develop, so much development happens in the first year of a kid uh -huh. that it's like, man, she's already doing this, already doing that, all that kind of stuff is is, is so great. I just had a friend of mine over here yesterday and we built her the it was it was basically it was a Christmas present. It was this big swing set slide thing for small children. Oh wow. And um we built that in the yard and it took us all day. From he got here like at 9 30 and he left like at 4 30. And you and, guys put it together, all of it. And huh? I and I and he and I had to finish the last bits until for like another <laughs> hour screwing you're doing the, the most important stuff which is the stuff that kind of like uh fastens it to the ground so you, know, much. It's, you need that it's and all that kind of business uh and it was great and and then just kind of getting to put her on it for the first time and her just kind of her laughter at this at the swinging her crying once we removed her from it and we we're putting her back in to, <laughs> okay so she know. liked it we know she's into yeah. it and so now she like she a lot of times she'll be up against the the back door wanting to go outside again to where the swing set is and that was pretty fun that's cool you see these are things you would have never done you know had you not had a child right i mean these yeah, are yeah yeah you're learning and creating on the fly which is super cool yeah wow. beyond that i don't know i like I, I play board games with people or you know over pandemic we discovered a lot of um sites that do board games online through like interfaces that you can connect so we'll we'll have like a weekly like we all get on basically like this like a zoom mm -hmm. the chit chat while we're playing a game on like our tablets things like that we do that for fun uh and uh yeah i don't know i i you know i futz around with random spooky crafts like i said like you see like uh so that's a hobby sort of thing. I can well, I can tell you have a lot of this artwork there, so it must be a hobby. Yeah, Halloween and horror and, and and things like that are definitely uh, big hobbies of mine for sure. And in building things to put in the yard for next year, that 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 can sometimes be a year round project of like going, oh, 
I have this. Why don't I make a, a guy coming out of the ground or whatever? So you're sort of a creative handyman. I'm getting that too, you know, at least learning to be one. Yeah. I mean, I, 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 I creative, I, I, I like handyman is, eh, who knows? Sometimes, sometimes yes, sometimes no. It's definitely one of those things where you're like, any of those type of projects where you're like going, ah, yeah, it makes you feel like, ah, I'm a man. I just built this. Yeah, you strut around a little bit for it and enjoy that. I had the same thing, Jorge. Like recently I was installing lights. I thought I'm going to be creative and like remove some kitchen lights and buy, put new ones. I blew out the fuses within a few minutes in my house. So, you oh, know. dear. I, I needed my cousin to come in to help finish the job, but you know, you learn on the fly, you know, trying to yeah, do yeah, yeah. housework. So, oh, oh, but man. you live and learn, right? So why not? Yeah. Right. And, yeah. And it's also important to know what jobs to have someone hire someone for, but also exactly. sometimes when the job is easy, sometimes when sometimes you, you bring someone in for some issue with like an appliance and they're there for five minutes. Mm -hmm. and you pay him a hundred bucks to have done something so silly like whatever uh like just like oh let's see this little hose this little clip here it came unclipped you just kind of do that and that fixes it so i always like to linger to see what they do because if the job is easy i'd be like all right next time i'm just gonna try that myself before i call anybody and if it fixes it boom there you Save go another hundred bucks <laughs> smart man well uh, i've been a long time fan this is cool to finally talk to you uh, after all these years i finally got that shot so uh um, keep on doing awesome work and uh thanks for sharing the insight into your life i, I feel like i know you a little bit better now so that's always a oh, good that's nice. thank you hey uh until next time let's do this again all right on take it easy take care